disease is something that only happens to old people. Tonight at 7 o'clock, KKTV Channel 11 will present a special program about one young man who felt that way until he contracted AIDS. The program is called An Enemy Among Us, and some health professionals say it could not have been shown at a better time. Deborah Hill reports. I'm not going to die! I'm not going to die! In An Enemy Among Us, the central character Scott Fisher contracts the disease from a blood transfusion. In El Paso County, two young people also got aid from blood transfusions. Both were hemophiliacs. Some people may question the idea of presenting a program about such a sensitive subject, but the director of the El Paso County Sexually Transmitted Disease Unit says it's a good thing for teenagers to see. You know, you're talking about someone that's on the threshold of sexuality. Uh, having this deadly virus, being able to harm people with it uh, through sex. You're talking about somebody that faces his own mortality at, at an age when very few of us ever think about death. Health educator Julie Castle agrees, but one thing she hopes won't happen is that kids will be afraid to get transfusions if they need them. Since the spring of 85, we've identified the virus and that has been filtered. Uh, the blood supply is now safe. And of course, then again, getting back to casual contact and casual transmission. There's no possible way of any type of transmission through casual contact. Castle says young people are becoming more aware of the dangers of AIDS and high-risk behavior, but both she and Potterat say the need for education never ends. Somehow the word's getting out there to be careful and I think it's a good idea for teenagers to now realize through maybe this television program or whatever that, yep, I'm at risk. Deborah Hill, News Center 11.